Noah was just like any other guy. He had a job, a loving family, and a great IQ. Though he was smart, he did have a small problem with communication with others. His idol was a scientist named Dr. Lin who was in charge of Noah's college and was an executive of the local power plant. Noah would tell him what he knew, and Lin would take his ideas into action. Noah was promised a job at the plant if he would continue helping with their research. Things were going great for Noah until it wasn't. The power plant pieced together enough of Noah's research to run one of their biggest tests ever, eternal life. After the first test was launched, the lab collapsed, and the tested corpses injected with a serum became zombie-like creatures. News broke out that the zombies were rapidly growing throughout the city. So people were being evacuated. Lin found Noah and told him that that was his fault and to hide in an abandoned bomb shelter until the apocalypse blew over. Noah chills in there for a few hours before getting bored and trying to leave, only to find out that Lin locked him in there. A few days passed and whatever was blocking the lid moved and Noah got out. He noticed there were no more people, but Noah just shrugs this off and searches for food. When leaving a building, he sees another guy around his age who didn't seem like he wanted to kill Noah, so they make an alliance. This guy was named Cody, and he was actually useful because he knew refuge with other survivors. Cody and Noah arrive at a car garage. The guy in charge of it was a man named Sparrow. He was a skilled mechanic and let trusted people take harbor with him. A few other people, Dallas, Norman, Rowan, Leah, and a cat named Plant had been there for a few days and were helping out with small tasks keeping themselves alive and safe. Noah decided not to tell anyone that it was his fault he started the apocalypse and ruined people's lives so he just kept the guilt to himself. Sparrow gave Noah the job of keeping zombies away with Cody and Rowan. They weren't able to kill the zombies, as they were injected with that eternal life stuff, but they'd still feel pain and retreat if they fought hard enough. Norman observed the blood of the zombies and made a discovery. The zombies would age over time, quicker if it rained as it decomposed bodies faster. If the blood of a zombie turned black, then they could be killed. If the blood was orange, the injection was still active and they were unable to die. All they had to do was wait a week and Eternix wouldn't carry out their plan. Their only problem was the other survivors who hadn't evacuated began to assemble in groups and started turf wars. Dallas, Leah, Noah and Rowan decided to head outside to look for supplies and preserved insulin for Leah as she was diabetic. They find some food before heading to the hospital to find insulin. A few zombies were in there and the older ones were taken out quickly. Dallas returned with the insulin and the group headed back. After returning, Sparrow and Cody had some devastating news. Norman left to follow the group, only to get attacked by a group of rogues. He had information about the zombies and they had to get him back. A group of three revealed themselves and they opened fire immediately. A fight broke out for a few minutes, but the last surviving rogue ran off with Norman's research on the zombie antidote. They brought Norman back to the garage and Dallas tended to his wounds. Rowan started acting a bit strange over time. Dallas checked up on Rowan only to see he had become a zombie. He got bitten at the hospital and never told anyone. Sparrow restrained him before locking him in a closet. The remaining five decided it was time to put an end to this. Cool montage of killing zombies happened and they drove to the power plant. Noah discovered a hidden document in Dr. Lin's old office, but had to drop it and hide. The government officials entered the room and managed to capture Sparrow and Dallas before taking them off to evacuate but the other three made it back to the garage. It was only hours before the bombing and they couldn't do their job right. As long as zombies were still there, the city would be bombed. Noah decided to come clean and admit this was his fault. Cody and Leah just left. Noah walked off and noticed Dr. Lin. Lost of all hope, Noah asked Lin to help him get out of the town before the wipeout. Instead, Lin told him the truth. The apocalypse wasn't made by Noah. It was all a scam to keep the lab chain's reputation of being the first company to make eternal life a success instead of their failure. He showed Noah the exact paper Norman had in his bag, meaning he was the third rogue. Norman's research was wrong. Noah jumped up and tried to run back to Cody and Leah, Lynn pulled out a gun, and shot. 